Let's take a close look at the process of subtraction. We're going to use plain money to help us think about the numbers involved. The first problem that we're going to look at is 264 minus 39. We're going to think of this as a subtraction problem involving money. We have $264 take away $39. Let's count out $264. We have two one hundreds. We have six tens. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's my six tens. And four ones. One, two, three, four. So right here, I have $264 counted out. I'd like to take away $39 from that 264. When we subtract by hand, we start with the ones place. We'd like to take $9 away from our four. But I can't take $9 away from these four, so what I'm going to do is take one of my $10 bills and exchange it. I can exchange this $10 bill for a packet of 10 ones. I've already banded together 10 ones here. Sometimes this process is called borrowing, but I think a better word would be exchange. We're making an even exchange of 10 ones for the one 10. When we write out this procedure, we cross out the six and change it to a five because we no longer have six tens. We have one, two, three, four, five. And we also cross out the four and replace that with 14. Because we have the four ones we started out with plus 10 more ones we got from our exchange. There are 14 ones here. Now we're ready to do the subtraction. We can do 14 take away 9. I'm going to actually take away 9 of these ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And uh, 14 take away 9, that leaves me with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have 5 ones left. Next, I take 5 tens, take away 3 tens. So from my stack of tens, I'll take away 3. That leaves me with 2. 5, take away 3 is 2. And the two 100s that we started out with have just stayed the same. 2, take away no 100s leaves me with two 100s. So I have $225 remaining. Two 100s, two 10s, and one, two, three, four, five ones. There's my 225. Let's look at another subtraction problem where we think about it in terms of money. Here we have 32,005 minus 978. If we think of this in terms of money, we would start out with $32,005 and take away $978 from that. So 32,005, I have 30,000 or three ten thousands, 
2000s. 0, 100, 0, 10s, but 5 1s. So I'll count out 5 1s. So here at the top, I have $32,005, and I'd like to take away $978. Again, we'll start with the 1s. We'd like to take away $8 from our 5. But we can't take 8 from our 5 unless we make some exchanges here. I don't have any 10s or 100s to exchange, so I'm going to move all the way over to my 1,000s. I can take one $1,000 bill and exchange it for 10 $100 bills. I have 10 hundreds banded here. This is usually called borrowing when we write out subtraction by hand, but really exchange might be a better word for what's going on. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 one hundreds. So this step of the process now, let's indicate it on our problem here with my marker. We took one of the 1,000s, so we no longer have two in that stack. We have just one 1,000, and we exchanged it for ten hundred-dollar bills. Instead of zero, we now have ten of them right here. Now, I'm still trying to get some more ones here, so I need to work my way down the line. I'm going to take one of these 100s, and I'm going to exchange it for 10 tens. 10 tens is equal to $100. Again, I've banded 10 tens together here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What's happened is I no longer have 10 100s because I exchanged one for the tens. I now just have nine one hundreds in that stack, and my zero ten dollar bills have become ten of those ten dollar bills. Next, I can take one of my ten dollar bills and exchange it for ten ones off the band, count them just to check. There are 10 ones there, and I add it to my stack of 10 ones. Now my tens have decreased by one, so I now just have nine of these $10 bills. Let's indicate that. And because I have added 10 ones to my stack of ones, I have 10 plus 5 or 15 ones here. I now have enough ones so that I can start my subtracting. But before we start subtracting, just think about how the amount of money here at the top is the same as the $32,005 we started out with. We just made several even exchanges along the way. So now let's start the takeaway process. $15, take away 8. I need to take away 8 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Get subtracted. 15 take away 8 leaves me with 7. I have just 7 ones left. Let's verify that. 7 ones right here. 9 tens take away 7 tens will leave me with 2. I start out with 9 here. Take away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Sure enough, there are just two left. 
nine hundreds, I want to take away nine hundreds from. Well, nine minus nine is zero. I'm taking all of these hundreds away, all nine of them. Now, I have one one thousand left, and I'm not taking any a thousands, thousands away from that, so I still have my one thousand. And I also still have my three ten thousands from the very beginning. So I end up with thirty-one thousand twenty-seven dollars. That's exactly how much money is left here at the top after I've done the subtraction.